I'm ready for war. Tell them I'm ready, I'm ready for war. If you looking for me, you know where to find me. I leave you dusted, I leave you behind me. I flip the switch from zero to 90. If you do too much, I'm a duty almighty. You know I got it, you know I'm a legend. Well, it is just the perfect time of year for a trip to the Carolinas, and that's where we find ourselves at Bank of America Stadium at Uptown Charlotte. Just a moment ago, the lights, the cameras, the action, all the pyrotechnics, everything was ablaze, everything was allowed here at Bank of America Stadium as Carolina emerged from their tunnel. And we are ready to go as the Panthers get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Another good carry there for the NFL's second leading rusher. And we've talked on air, off air about his MVP candidacy. Make a case for him. But I'm just going to tell you point blank. It doesn't matter whether he's first or second or even third in the league in rushing yardage. That's not the main deal. It's how he gets those yards and the impact he has on his ball club. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Leonard Fournette. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Calling an eight-yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. Try and run for it with Fournette. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Now, Charles, you think about this offense, and it's kind of a tricky time of the season because you're 14-0, looking to see this one out to the end, but you start to run into situations where guys are getting a little banged up, maybe could use some time sharing, some time on the bench, just to rest. How do you approach the rest of this regular season? I'm telling you, you don't ask the easy stuff, do you? I mean, you created a heck of a situation there, and actually you didn't create it. You presented it, and you're exactly right. It is tricky because your eye has to be on the ultimate prize, which is the Super Bowl. That's paramount. But at the same time, how much fun would it be to go down as one of the all-time great teams and join the 1972 Dolphins as the only undefeated team to win a Super Bowl? So third and two, this quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. They go back to the ground now with four down. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game, and he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm, I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders, and Deshaun Jackson made that big-time return all the way back for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants' sideline. 
he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And Fournette trying to power his way forward, but I don't think he got there. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. That's to his running back complete. And he's in for the score. And his spectacular season continues as he ties the NFL touchdown record. He is phenomenal. Extra point put through by Suckup. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Vita Vea stopped that play in its tracks. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. To throw is Newton. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Well, this offense will definitely utilize him as a weapon out of the backfield because he was close to 100 yards receiving a week ago. So they will try to get him the football in space as they did right there. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Out of the gun, Newton. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part. Looking for Marshall, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense, that's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. Brady's throw pulled in by Gronkowski. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 58 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Back-to-back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Fournette. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make... And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Leonard Fournette. Ties LT with his 31st touchdown of the year as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Suckup, and it's now 14 to nothing. 
Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive as we grind toward the end of the season here and they haven't had the season that they had hoped so let me ask you to play GM where might they look to make some changes I think when you look into the upcoming draft think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen they've got to get stouter up front and as a GM always tells me Charles this is a big boy league and big people always end up winning games for you flushed out right and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. From the gun, here's Newton. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. Second and ten, Newton again. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 39. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he's taken down inside the 30. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range, so now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. A shotgun snap for Newton. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing is Newton. And that is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw once more on second and 10. Newton forced out, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Newton. And it'll be intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Bucs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. 
So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And got his man complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. On play action, it's Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 42 yards out. And Suckup will put this one right through. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best play, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try to get things settled down a little bit. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Newton. And Lewis has it to tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by Levante David. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Extra point put through by Suckup. And the lead is now 24. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Now he'll air this one deep for Anderson. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. On 
First down, it's Newton. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Mercedes Lewis, his first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. Now Newton will bring the Panthers up to go for two. Cam looking to throw. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Popular down near the goal line. Quick slant. Nice job there to get in, knock it away. It was. One of the other things you're concerned about when you throw that route is to make sure your offensive linemen use their leverage to get the hands of the defensive front down so you can throw it through that little bit of crowd and get it to the receiver. In this event, they did, but a nice play by the defender knocking it away. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. From the 30 on second down, Brady. This is caught by Evans. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now Brady. He'll hit Jackson complete. A gain of six there on first. Four yards remain for second down. A handoff to Fournette. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sip through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. They'll run it again with Fournette. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Brady now to throw. That's off the mark, incomplete. But listen, when you've got the lead, there's absolutely no sense trying to fit a ball in where you shouldn't. You can see the coaching in his head taking place on that play because he saw he had a receiver in the area. He just put it well over his head, out of harm's way. On second down, here's Fournette. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. point up and good by Sucka. And they open the lead up now to 25. Now it's Ryan Sucka on after the touchdown to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line ready to go. 
They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together all their positions then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. To throw on second and ten. Newton flushed to his right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Buccaneers are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your court, well, this is taken in, it's complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Bucs are moving closer to a 15-0 record as they extend their lead here. Extra point put through by Suckup, and the lead will swell by one more. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Newton now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. CD, this defense, man, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. Daquan Jones in on the tackle there. Second and five. Let's go, tight end. Let's go right here now. 29 is the mic. Mike 29. Alert. Yo, 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 yo. Come here. Now Brady. He completes it to Evans. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. To throw is Brady. This will be caught at about the five. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. The Bucks on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Fournette running out of the gun. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Brady going to go on fourth down. Just keeping the play alive. This is where playing defense can be so frustrating. You have everything covered, yet he's able to pull it down and get past the marker to pick up the first down. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Ricky, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky. Joker, Joker. Joker, Joker. Shift, shift. Alert! Kill, kill, kill. Alpha. 
Fournette. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that will extend this big lead. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here's J.K. Scott now. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. Oh, but this is going to backfire as it's intercepted. Picked up by Andrew Adams. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the field. <laughs> it feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Extra point put through by Sucko, and the lead will swell by one more. Now it's Ryan Sucko on after the touchdown to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Let's just be frank, they're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. And my goodness, another interception. Mike Edwards picks it off. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And that will extend this big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, 
I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. Back to the air, Newton on second down. And now here is another interception. Mike Edwards picks it off. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And just a yard to go here on second down. Brady going to throw here. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Tampa Bay, they are now two wins away from a perfect regular season as they run their mark to... Cause I went there when they ain't had a ball He talking sporty Wonder how he felt watching his dog cast 